Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the workshop. So Belgium is back into lockdown thanks to the people who don't really respect the rules. So that means there are no kart racing championships or races at all. Unfortunately, that means that I don't have any content for karting on my channel. But what I do have, I have content in the workshop. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna fix some lighting fixtures because that's pink. I mean, come on, that's not okay. Um, I'm gonna put some LED lights like I have over here in all the other fixtures and I'm gonna put some LED lights as well into my new uh, paint booth so as you can see over here last video I made this paint booth but the lights are a bit yellow and they're still the old lights so I'm gonna put some LEDs into them and then uh, that's gonna be all nice and clean and ready to paint so the lights that I bought are these kind 1600 lumen for the big fixtures 800 lumen for the small fixtures and they have 4000 K of cool white light so yeah, that's gonna be awesome. I think that's more or less the same as these. Yeah, let's go. That was exciting, wasn't it, guys? <laughs> so the reason why I changed everything to LED isn't just because it's more clear and, and there's a lot more light. The other reason is because it's efficient, it's good for the environment. So if you made it this far into the video, well, why don't you just subscribe to my channel and put a thumbs up? Even put a comment down below. It helps me out a lot because if I have a thousand subscribers and a lot of views, I can do live streams. And if I can do live streams, I can go on track, well, next year with the coupe and live stream it to my youtube channel same with big car races like national championships or even the world championship if i go into the finals i can live stream it straight to youtube so you can watch it directly from my channel moving up to the ridge line so i've got a few things i want to change first of all i've got the fog light down there um, here in Belgium you have to have European approved fog lights and this one well I did it for um, the import of the truck but I don't like it anymore so I'm gonna change that out I'm gonna show you which one I'm gonna use afterwards second thing is I've got my camera down here my backup camera but it does pick up these two lights for the license plate so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a relay in between the um, license plate lights or well, the wires and the reverse lights so when the reverse lights turn on the license plate lights turn off but i will show you that afterwards as well the next thing which i don't really like on the ridge line i'm gonna turn off the lights first is what you can see when you put on the headlights it's quite bright now but it's not that bright when I'm driving at night so I'm gonna put some little bulbs in and then uh, I'm gonna see if it works out better or not and this is what I mean with the rear view camera picks up the two lights so now it's okay because the back is lit but during night time I can't see anything because this is way too bright so these have to turn off when the reverse lights turn on so these are the parts that I'm gonna use I've got the fog lights they also have reverse lights so I've got four reverse lights that should be good to reverse the truck to the trailer I'm gonna attach that and I got two new H4 bulbs cool blue intense they shouldn't be blue they should be a bit more white so I hope that's gonna be fine two new LEDs for the license plate lights and I got the five-point relay so how this works is 
my license plate lights always have power but whenever I turn on the reverse lights this will switch to the other side and that means that the license plate lights don't have any power so they're turned off this should be perfect I don't think that the camera can pick it up but it's more clear it's more white so that's good it looks good anyway so now I'm gonna go up to the rear bumper I'm gonna remove it so I can do the wiring well much easier than messing around with uh, the bumper uh, in the way right so the rear bumper is off the rear lights are off the five point relay I'm gonna mount over here somewhere so it doesn't block the light well the rear combination light so what I'm gonna do is these wires are from the rear fog lights which I disassembled already so um, I'm gonna attach these to the new fog lights but that's gonna be at the end uh, when the bumper is on again so I can place the fog lights wherever I want I do have to run one wire from number 87 on the relay block from here all the way over there to the new lower reverse lights so they can get power number 87 is getting power whenever number 87A which are the rear license plate lights and they are turned off so when they turn off the rear lower reverse lights will turn on if that makes sense okay and then I have to um, pull two wires which I'm gonna cut here one is number 86 which is gonna go to here number 85 is gonna go down here so whenever this is powered the reverse light then the other ones will turn off the license plate lights and then the reverse lights the lower ones the new ones will turn on Twelve seconds later. So all the wiring is done, everything is connected. The only thing is the relay is broken. I tested it and well it doesn't click. So I have to get a new one, but that doesn't really matter. Well for now. Um, all the wiring is done, so I can put the bumper back on. If I'm gonna swap out the relay, I just have to take out the rear light and then I can swap it out. So um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up for today, put the bumper back on and I'll come back tomorrow tomorrow so I replaced the old relay the broken one with the new one I'm gonna continue and make some brackets with these L brackets for my rear new lights so what I'm gonna do is take these I'm gonna drill them into the rear bumper bar to attach my light I'm gonna use some rivnuts put one in here so I can go through the hole straight into a rivnut So now this is nice and tight. You can take an M4 bolt. That wasn't M4, that's M4. Screws right in. So take the lights, 
to screw in. And that's it. So I'm gonna make three other brackets and then I'm gonna paint them black. And while that is drying, I can do the wiring already. All right, so I haven't picked up the camera in about an hour, I think. Anyway, so remember this wire, but number 87, which is turned on whenever the reverse lights turn on and then the license plate lights turn off. So this is wired up to the blue wire for the two LED strips for the new reverse lights, these. And then I have uh, the blue wire, is that? And then I have the white wire, which is mass, which is negative, goes all the way up to the front, which this is the old wiring for my um, fog lights. And then we have the red ones, they go inside here to my European style seven pin uh, trailer connector, and they connect to the fog lights. So whenever this is plugged in with the trailer wiring, then the fog light in the back of the trailer will turn on as well. Um, yeah, that's about it. So now the brackets are painted. I think they're gonna be dry about now. Gonna clear this mess, take the brackets, mount them into the bumper bar, and then, yeah, I'll test it. Everything is buttoned up, so let's see what it looks like. That's better, isn't it? No more lights disturbing the view. And then if we push the fog light, you can see the red glow. So let's have a look outside as well. Yeah, that's bright. That's bright. So I'm just gonna turn off the backup lights. And that's just the fog lights. Oh, thanks, man. Okay, now the trains are gone. This is just the fog lights and the rear lights on. That's good. It's stealthy. And in the front. I think it's way cleaner and way clearer as well. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next vlog.